Nigga, big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing. You know, my dad walk on. Man, hold up, man. Hold this up, is a, man. Man, hold I up, said, man. I said walk on. Man, uh, this this guy we got in here now, y'all. You know this guy. Y'all still ain't changed that say, damn song. Say, man. We, listen, man. We got content right now. Listen, man. Listen, we doing man. the Boss Talk Challenge. Listen, we're doing a thousand man. thousand dollars for the y'all hear the voice. Intro. Y'all so, hear the voice? He here, man. This guy right here don't need no introduction. See, ain't nobody man. came up with it, came the, up and gave us that's no more right now. Dallas. The king of Dallas is here, man. We're doing the challenge for a thousand dollars. Who the best? Uh, the boss talk new intro. The king of Dallas is here, man. That boy, and man. And you gonna pick it? The, the, we, yeah, we all go vote. Cause the it, motivator, man. Y'all ain't tired of that song? The keys to the city, Can't man. Can't get tired of that. That's a classic to me. Man, nah. Uh, Check it, man. That boy Raywater in the building. I'm the baby right now. Uh, hey, man, he came <laughs> over here, man. Did a good job, too. <laughs> Thank you for that live pass. I, I, his energy was so epic, bro. That night, I ain't gonna lie, that dude there, he was like humble, bro. Very humble. But when he spoke, you could hear the reason why you chose him. When he, when he, when he, when he rapped on here, I said, I see what's going on. Nah, look, look, he gonna blow. And I go hard for him because on Christmas this year, he uh he called me in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve. And I didn't do it though. He could have got mad at me. I didn't do it. I had a, a shitload of money at my house. But I had bought a big mansion. And uh wow, congratulations. he called me. And I was calling him, FaceTime him showing him my house around Christmas. Okay. And he was excited for me. For sure. Then he called me the night before Christmas, said, Ray, I ain't buy my kids nothing for Christmas. Wow. This year. Wow. That's crazy. And I said, for real? He said, but but I'm going to do it. It's the last Christmas. Wow. And I could have sent him some money to buy it. Yep, yep. But uh, I wanted him to remember that. Wow, that's mm -hmm. that, that's dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody else around me, you know, they got plenty of money. And they was people just, you know, sometimes a humble heart is uh, is something you can't pay for. It give him the drive because when things come too easily, you don't have that drive as much. Uh uh, he got to drive two hours to the studio. Mm. Real story, man. This guy is different, bro. Yeah. When he when he got back, he called me, mm -hmm. and he was like, he was like rain. He was like it's rain. Uh, what do you, what do you think about me signing with rain? That's what he asked me. Mm -hmm. And I said, all I can tell you is, nigga. That nigga gonna go hard for you. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know no other nigga that's gonna go hard, you know, mm -hmm. and that nigga gonna go for you. He was like, I said, but when you come to the city, just mind your business. That's what I told him. That's mm -hmm. all I said, right? Mm -hmm. She was sitting right there because mm -hmm. he called me on FaceTime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just know. Just learn, stay out of trouble. Yeah, learning about you uh, has been an adventure. That's it. Boy, it's just, it's just, I didn't know a lot of the stuff that, that you have been a Eye part opening. of. Eye-opening. Yeah, and every interview, everybody that come on here give me something different about <laughs> the infrastructure of the Dallas market when it come to rain. It from the DJs, you the definition DJs, Frost and them, everybody I talked to everybody. Yeah. You gotta realize I had a whole bunch of partners before I started just that was in the city doing all kind of stuff. Yeah. And every time I would bring your name up, they just talk about how hard you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it messed my head up. I think the one that got me the most was when uh Mr. Hit that came on here. Yeah, and Mr. Hit that, Mr. Hit that went down through that for rain. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Man, you know the boogie movement it wouldn't have been what it was without rain." And I was like, "Damn, he had something to do with that." He's like, "Man, he had everything to do with that." Uh -huh. And it was like, <laughs> "What?" He was like, "He was promoting, man. He booked us. He's the only nigga that booked us out of town and did all this stuff." It was all kind of talk going I, on. I was homeless. So just tell me a was little he bit the about one who was he the one who told that story about him jumping in his car and driving to book everybody? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I did. Cause yeah, people didn't know I was living out my car. Yeah, and I was 19, 20, 21, 22. I uh, when I graduated from high school, uh, my close homeboy had a song called "Gutter Bitch." Okay, I Trade remember e. the song. Yeah, and I had went to college and uh, I stayed for three months, four months, and I came back to Dallas. Wow. And uh, I was homeless. So I used to, and I was homeless and I was broke. And so I ain't want to be in Dallas wearing the same clothes. So I get up and I hit a different city every day. 
Wow. With the same outfit on. Wow. And, and the girls didn't know I had it on for four days. And I, when I hit the different city, I had to go spend the night over. I had to find a girl, go to the club and find a girl to spend the night with the house. Wow. And then, I, and, and when the more I went out in different cities, I started hearing Dallas music. Mm-hmm. So I started going to the club on and saying, I know them. Like, you can book them for me? Hell yeah. How much they want? They might be going for 3000 I'll call them and say, uh, hey, I got a thousand dollars for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make your money. Yeah, so nah, you no, 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 no. I, they might be going for three thousand. I might book them for fifteen hundred, half of that. I keep five hundred and get them a thousand. Okay. But I was, I never knew, I never realized at the time I was cutting their managers out, <laughs> and they was getting all their money because at the time all Dallas rappers were on them show money, they wasn't touching nothing. It's them niggas who put that money behind them that were touching this shit. Wow. And so Crazy. now all the artists calling me. You can't you got a show for us. Got a show for us. I, I made all the I made all the artists back then leave their managers. So is that where the hate came from? The managers? Yeah, yeah, because they kept they started calling me janky, <laughs> and then they put that in they they put that in their artist head. Yeah. Rainwater was janky because I keep five hundred to myself. I keep five hundred to myself, and uh, and get them a thousand. But back then it was a groups, so they had to split their thousand. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. seemed really hard for them. It, yeah, so yeah. it might be four of them, and I, and, and they yeah. got 250, 250, 250. But you get five. I get five. Oh, uh, the Hawaii trip? Yeah, let's talk about that. I was going to ask you about that. Like, you were How, something. Yeah. I want to talk about that Hawaii thing, because for you to book uh, some... Overseas. Listen, some, some dancing, uh, boogie movement artists that were popping in Dallas. How did you make that happen, bro? I made those connections over there. Man, hit the house sitting there wild Mark in Houston. And the nigga called his phone and tried to book hit to her. And he said, all right, well, uh, you got to talk to Rainwater to book me. So I got on the phone with the Army dude, and I realized the type of budget he got, what type of money he got. And I said, you need to book this order, this order, this order. I booked by seven artists and uh, six artists. And uh, and I pay, they paid for flights. They paid for everything. And we went out there about 35 deep. Wow. And, How much uh, was the damn. payout? Uh, 80000 mm. How much did you keep? Uh, I gave I paid the artists out fifty thousand, and I kept thirty. Thirty, yeah, they don't good deal. And, uh, that, that, and that I gave them big. I gave them more than they they expect. I gave them more than they was making because yeah. I I, I, made, I hit the lick so high, so I gave them more than they was even getting. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, the stanky leg they didn't show up. They didn't show up. Uh-uh. So you booked them, but they didn't show. up They didn't show up. They Did took, you pay them? They put they took my deposit and didn't show up. So you didn't get it back. Uh uh-uh, uh. Who that, was you dealing with during that time? Old boy uh, Prince. Uh, I was dealing with uh, some dude that was managing them at the time because they okay. they business was all fucked up. Yeah. Wasn't black. Uh uh-uh, uh. It was some I don't know. I can't remember. It was some Arkansas nigga or some nigga mm-hmm. that came from nowhere because they business was all fucked up. So I, I gave them all the money and then we get down there. How much you give them? Uh, I gave them like I did it early, so I gave them like four thousand. I booked them for uh, eighty five hundred and and six flights. Mm. And they didn't even and, show in three hotel rooms. Damn. And so when I get out there, they they picked me up from the airport. And me and hit that flew out there the day before. Everybody got there, picked me up from the airport. And Ali was talking on the radio. We got the we got the, we got the whole Dallas Texas in here. Um, do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg. And didn't show. And hit them with the flag. They are like, damn. Was they, that the only group that didn't show up? That's the only group. Oh, Trail and Prince Rick. They didn't show. I booked them too, and then and then they end up going to Shreveport with Baby. What mm. the hell? Mm-hmm. But you would think that going overseas that would have been way more exposure. Like, why not go to that venue? It because I was doing it. They had them gave them their name. Uh huh. Uh, Lil Will, me and Lil Will got into it. Really? That time, yeah. Cause we went all the way out there, and I got him his money, and we stayed an extra day. And uh, Lil Will and Young Black, they went to the Gucci store and the Louis Vuitton store when they first got there. They weren't used to it. They, they then they was mad at me cause it's mad at me cause they couldn't give it that, cause they had to stay an extra day. Mm. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, I never forget that. I never forget them <laughs> days. But okay, so I can see them calling you janky because especially when they had to split the money and it's less than what you what they what you made. Yeah. Right. But for the people who didn't have a group, did you book people who didn't have a group? Young Black didn't have a group. The Road didn't have a group. Lil Will didn't have so a group. So they wouldn't call you janky because they would have had more money coming to them. But but the thing was, I was still making more money than all of them because I used to perk people up. 
They don't understand. I used to do that in every city. Colleen for the military. I had a military account where I I used to book all the military shows. Paul Wall, uh, I did. J Dog, I did. Texas Relay. Anything came out of Texas, I was booking all the shows. Damn. B King, yeah, B King. I've been on B King about damn near 13, 14. I remember the first time I ever heard of B King. B King was sitting outside of Houston with the same shirt on. Mm. Right <laughs> up. Straight up Man And he's the same nigga I've been knowing them For a long time Like DJ Chose uh, You know I've been knowing them For a long time it, it got to a point where Houston rappers Appreciated me more Than Dallas rappers Because all the Dallas rappers Was was was, was older than me or, or the same age That's crazy And so they didn't take me They didn't take me serious They didn't appreciate me But although you were Going through all of that You still got work You still had people Who still mess with you Regardless No at that time The whole city was against me Mm. Because they realized they all they all said something bad. Say so even in high school, I always been. But the, it's so crazy I, because I, you I was, was taking them all these different places, getting that's like right now. No, so just, no, that's like right now. The whole city right now feel like this and that about Ryan Water. But I'm taking up for the rappers. Ain't even about my rappers. They don't, these days don't have to play no records for my rappers. Cause I'm gonna do my thing regardless. But I'm saying that as a whole, the DJs ain't breaking shit. So it's not about my section. It's about in a whole. The, mm. the 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 grind the the grind O'Shea's that that doing millions of views and nobody playing his shit. You know what I'm saying? The upcoming rapper, the little tools in them over there that that's doing numbers. Nobody playing their shit. So so I walk in the I used to walk in the club back in the dancing era, and every single time you walk in the club, it's a different rapper playing a different song. It did like this. First they hit the the, the club Cirque with J Rock and then DMX and 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 and, and they will play a new record. And when they take off, then Bay Bay will play it on the radio. Then them niggas gone. They they calling me. We out we out the state. Damn. Now, fuck now. It done changed. That shit ain't on. So so at the end, so it ain't about my rap. But at the end, at the time, I remember back in the day, I used to every time I book a show, I used to book at least four rappers from. Dallas at one time And we used to all go in there And, and mob around The last time I ever did that Is Super Bowl in Houston The last Super Bowl in Houston I booked Yellow Freddy And three mm -hmm. And and Junie Baby was the DJ And we all walked in there As one And it was a, a bunch of us from Dallas And we, we performed and we, and we made Dallas look good You That's that's the the reason why I found a different type of respect for you When I researched you bro yeah. like, like you really Like you didn't did a lot of work, man. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like, and 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 it was crazy because, like I said, when he was when when hit that said that, or or if I'm talking to the definition DJs or whoever, they always mention rain, rain, and he gonna keep bringing it. Shout out, go DJ Fresh. Different, he uh, shout out Jack Frost. You know, different people. Yeah, uh, 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 K Rock. So you, you know. do have a lot of love in Dallas. A lot of you people, just might not they, realize they respect it. him. I don't know how much they love they him, but they damn you sure respect him. You might not realize because people yeah. might not say to your face, but they don't publicly say it. Right, but a lot of people. Yeah. Let me say, Jack Frost, 19, 20 years old. Like I said, I was homeless, so every day I used to wake up and go to uh, and go to DGs and Onyx and get their free lunch. Damn. At 11, at 11 or 12 o'clock Between 11 and 1 o'clock He used to go to DJs and Onyx Did he know? In the day trip They knew I started trying to pimp I started doing everything Trying to get me some money mm -hmm. <laughs> Then I said Fuck and started breaking the house <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Man, you, you, that's what <laughs> whatever I'm Whatever works. Man, whatever, but, whatever works, but you're yeah. different, bro. Like, you're different. And at the end of the day, you one of those guys that I respect because of the, what I've heard sitting in the seat. I didn't know this stuff, bro. Yeah. So that's dope, man. You, you, that's, that's the part I know. That, uh, and the fact that with all that you feel that everybody turned their back on you, you still haven't turned your back on Dallas. Oh, no, nah, not really. Why? Wow, but, that's a good question. Uh because uh, they not realizing it's easy, it's easy market. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy market to run. Yeah, and but so, with all of the the the. Fuck em. my my chat, my kids and my mom and I'm good. I'm, man, I'm I'm living. I'm man, that fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They gonna realize. Let them, they they gonna realize that on. But at the end of the day, they not they they uh. It's easy because I watch other rappers come and get on. Let another nigga let another nigga come from another st city. You gonna see a thousand niggas trying to get on stage in Dallas and, mm -hmm. and, and, and get behind them and smoke weed next to them. Now, I hate to bring this up, but I'm gonna bring this up. I, I hate to bring stuff up we already talked about, but Look. I gotta bring this up because Lil Zach was on here. Right. And Lil Zach, when he was on here, I remember you mentioned Lil Zach. And I was like, dang, 
makes sense to me. Now, Zach said that he had something to do. I, I heard OG Bobby Billion say yeah. that he, you know, basically, uh, I heard a lot of people, not just uh, that they, the Say Cheese thing happened, and that's where he seen him at. But from according to Lil Zach, Lil Zach say he played the open end parts of that song before Mo3 even got on it. He did. Bobby Billion paid Mo3 to put it on his page. Bobby Billion called me. And no, I'm talking about Zach. Lil no, listen, Zach. this is what had happened. Bobby Billion paid for Mo3 to put on his page, right? So that's in May. So then May 3 put on his page, 3 never listened to it. He never paid no mind to it. Then Zach, being in the car with Zach, Zach rolled around and kept on playing it. That's what Zach told me. And 3 mm -hmm. sit there and said, damn, who the fuck is that? And it was Bobby B. Not realize he already had posted Yeah, He already posted it. <laughs> and then Bobby, Bobby was talking in cahoots with Zach. Trying to go on the road, trying to be cool, you know what I'm saying? Trying to go everywhere we go, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got the messages, Bobby from Mo3. Mo3 Mo was in Miami. Big bro, where you at? I'm going to pull up on you. Then 3 told me, too, like, the day Broken Love came out, when 3 just did it in the kitchen, the outside in the kitchen, he said, yeah, Bobby trying to pull up on us. I said, for real? Said, yeah, yeah, he trying to pull up on us. But, you know, he not. 3 was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 3 was a fan. He used to like Bobby music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I feel bad for him. They did it all wrong. Anybody I take to Empire or anybody I take to the deal, I already know the structure of everything. Mm -hmm. So you just got to follow my lead. Yeah. He had an album come out nobody heard of. You're right. Um, but but he started to scale because of outside, right? He what? He scaled because of outside. He scaled because outside, but that, that was just a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? I look for blessings in everybody's life. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, with me not getting no dollar out of it, but I'm trying to get Dallas to the point where I'm trying to get Dallas to the point where we in New York or Atlanta and they just don't look at it like, okay, they just, you know what I'm saying, such and such. Like right now it kind of made me mad and it kind of made me more hungry because I've been around the world lately and every time I walk in the club they play outside. I'm tired of this shit. So now, I, now I'm pushing for a whole new song for Mo3. Yeah, because I realize you have the album supposed to be coming out soon. Yeah, I got three more out. They just gave us. When is it coming? Uh -huh. Come on now, give us the exclusive. <laughs> I, I'm pushing for BET weekend because I want to take over BET weekend. I want Mo Three Billboards be everywhere in BET weekend. We walk around there having some Mo Three shit. That'll be fly. Yeah, that'll you know what I'm be real fly. When is BET weekend? It's like in June, I think. Yeah, it's in June. That'll be yeah. fly though. Yeah, it's just it's it's just uh I don't know if I'm gonna make it that, to make it. Why? Cause I got it's a lot of clearances you got to do. Uh, Mo three last uh, Mo three next album he did a lot of remakes. Um, he, he remade a lot of songs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So uh, you got all of that clearance. Yeah, you got to get a lot of clearances and then a lot of verses. I got some bad motherfuckers on there. Uh, I got no cap and Mo three no cap gonna be a bit a banger. Uh, Mo three I got a Mo three money bag yo song that's uh we trying to get cleared on there. I got uh the Mo three and Boosie. It's gonna be ridiculous, way in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some hits. How many on songs gonna be on the album? Uh, looking for fifteen. Wow, and they, that's gonna that's gonna go crazy. He got, but no, that he got uh, he got an extension for two more albums after this. You got all them songs in? Yeah, more three of a hundred songs. Wow, and you picked out all the best ones to put out now. Mm -mm, I'm 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 building them. You interviewing Steph. Steph said so he yeah. picks up all the good ones. Huh? I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, uh, nah. how do you pick it with all them songs that he has? How do you pick which ones you want to put out now? I'm building them. I just let God hear me. I, I, listen, I was in the room the other day, and I just be in the room sometimes, and I be walking around. I got a counter lit in my uh, movie room, mm -hmm. and it's a song. And I ain't going to tell y'all, but it's a song <laughs> came. Um, and I'm like, I ain't never heard this song. I ain't heard this song in a long time. And three say, hey, we gotta cut the lights out on this one. And they just start rapping. I'm like, damn. So I took that verse and took a hook from another song. Now I made a hit. Oh, <laughs> you know I got you. So at nighttime, I cut our lights off. And I, I got you. And I sit around and listen to them. And, and, and when there's something good come on, and then. It be chills on my body. I know he ran it like. So you know what? You gonna give everybody else chills when they listen to it? What? I'm gonna make all the blogs talk about it again. They gonna swear you lie. 
I gotta ask you this, man, because I seen you on Sco Sco TV, and just now that you talked about the, yeah. the gloominess and then the darkness, and then you speaking to Mo Three, that lady on there said that she was talking to Mo Three. That was <laughs> hilarious to me. I thought I'm like this lady tripping. That bitch full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to be my friend at first. <laughs> I seen that, but I don't. I don't play about that though. Yeah, so I'm fake. I don't speak on his name. I don't, you I don't can play tell she that. was a little bit out of touch with reality, she though. Saying, you bitch, <laughs> you ain't talking like that. Shut up. So I mean, like she was talking about Mo three said, "What's up, man?" So you mean to tell me he gonna say what's up, and I say say something I need to know. Nigga, mm. tell me what I need to name this next album. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Some. Tell me something. Tell me where I can find some more songs at you. You know what I'm saying? I like, looked at that about three times, me yeah. and my brother. I kept looking. I was like, boy, boy Rainwater having hell with this woman. He howling up rough. Yeah, yeah man. Like, them, people, them people on that YouTube be crazy. But <laughs> I don't make a lot of money out of them YouTube. That's why I keep them on. Yeah. I, just, I, book, I book Baby C off straight North Carolina off Chris Co. channel. Then I just got another booking for L.A. Straight off Coach uh, Chris uh, Go channel. Really? Yeah, hey, yeah. A lot of people be tuning in on his channel a lot. But but I think you you got that part mastered when it come down to understanding how to keep yourself relevant. Because he love talking mm -hmm. mess. You, no, he ain't really. He ain't really be mess. he be dropping some jewels. That, no, he do in the too, midst of what's going on. You always have a hands for anything anybody come at you. Yeah, but it ain't talking mess. They just gotta listen. They gonna be listening. They be thinking like right now. People, people I say, man, DJ ain't playing shit. They tell them rappers sit there saying, shit, he right. My song ain't getting played. They be like, fuck that nigga, he a hater. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. But you still, you know how to maneuver, bro. Like you be, you be saying certain things. I see you come on certain people channel, whatever. But it seemed like you mastered how to keep no, yourself people, relevant, man. Listen, mm -hmm. people don't like to listen to the real. Right up. I learned that. Learned that Charles and White. He could say one thing, but it's just how he, they, they take the negative thing how he said, but it be real. No, I get it. I you know get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the end of the day, I understand that. I, I, I sit back I sit back, and I just watch for people, and they go lose. Even people around me right now, they, not, they ain't realizing it's the blessing you around Rainwater. No, no, true. You know what I'm saying? Well, the man is walking around hanging up posters in the, in the heat. You but that, that ain't uh, the only part. The fact yeah, of yeah. all the work that you done did and stuff, that's yeah. another whole I got thing. Ni I got niggas signed without even dropping the album. I know. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. That's the part that I look at, like, to be around you and the fact that you've made all of these different moves in, in the time period that you've done mm -hmm. it in. That's the part that sticks out for me. But it's a blessing, but if they're not utilizing that blessing as in he gotta move on right yeah. as in and as I, in really and, listening and, and, and you watching. told me you was gonna be more aggressive that was the first thing you told me when I ever yeah. first interviewed you that was the first thing you I'm gonna be more aggressive yeah don't you well so we I see you got you baby do C different. but there's a lot of people in this universe on this earth that could you, you the more people you help in different places don't you think that's that's important I know you yeah. went to North Carolina with yeah. baby yeah. C yeah. but there's a lot of talent you looking at the internet are you really, are you too, are you too biased to Dallas? Nah, hell no, nah. fuck them. <laughs> nah. But you got nah. a lot of Dallas artists. Yeah, yeah, Fort Worth, I, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm. But I'm, Baby C, not Dallas. Nah, nah. That's the only one. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna give them this last string. And if they don't, if it's they, the last yeah, 10. Yeah, 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 if they don't, if they don't, if they, don't if they ain't realizing what's going on, then I'm gonna just leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? I hate it for me. You know, it's like it's like leaving a child alone. You know, it's like raising kids, and I give people sick chances after chances after chances. And maybe sometimes be too harsh. But me and three used to be on on some shit where nigga, nigga, I called three, man, man, that's some bullshit. He don't sit there and say, man, that's some whole ass shit. Talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he go real. Yeah, he go in there and say, yeah, you right. Oh, he never got too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Nigga, the label could sit there and say, "Yep, Mo Three, you're doing pretty good. You did a hundred thousand streams a week." And he'll sit there and look at me and say, "Ryan, that ain't shit." That ain't enough. I want to be able to stop the room when I come in, mm -hmm. not just take pictures. Mm -hmm. I want the whole room to stop. I'm like, yeah, okay, bet. Cause all I got is hustle in my body. So every day I wake up, bro. Right now, I swear to God, I swear to God, and 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 and, and, and people, but people around Mo Three can be my witness. Mo Three, mama, everybody can be my witness. At this time in life, right now. I don't have to push another order. I'll be rich for the rest of my life. Damn. Swear to God. I'll be rich for the rest of my life. I'll just sit back and wait for Mo three checks to hit. But you don't have it in you to sit back. No, no, I'm too, no, hell no. I, I go to the club every night. 
I, I, I look for other opportunities. I can go do, I can buy whatever I want, I can buy any business I want. My blessing is turning people's lives around and making them stars. But when are you going to retire from? Because, you know, the older we get, you're not going to be able to go to the clubs all the time. I'm going to build another artist. And I'm going to build I'm gonna build another nigga, the young nigga just like me. That's it. Uh, uh, 2G Cash, little manager. Uh, I like that little nigga. He just like me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, little Dre, six point Dre, he, he just like me. Uh, it's a lot of people that. So that you have your eyes on some. Get people. money, Tim. Yeah, they they, uh, they just got to they got to they got to put a risk and take and step mm. outside the box and trust God. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you pay your tithes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I swear to God, look, I, I, I don't want to go there with you. Nah, look, I'm gonna tell you, tithe and time is something serious. Nah, with God. yeah, listen, listen. Uh, come November. Come November, I paid my tithes, and I only had, I only had nine hundred dollars in my in my bank account. I paid my, I, w- I went out and, and got drunk. When I got drunk, I paid my tithes to my uncle. Then I went to church with Charleston White, and I watched him go up there. He paid his tithes, and then next morning I woke up over, over, over about eighty thousand dollars in my account. Damn, where it come from? <laughs> it came from a check that was unexpected. A, che- a, che- a check that Mo three planted from me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and I used to preach to him about paying his tithes. You know what I'm saying. So if he, if he, if 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 so now you pay tithes every week. I've been paying it real. Yeah. Getting more money. Yeah, some some yeah sometimes yeah. Man, I'm very wealthy right now, and so I'm humble with it too. Cause you know then I could be just buying all kind of designer and chains and stuff. I but hope now. you're investing. Well, you know the word of God. It, it I, does I, say. I ain't got in that point yet. Yeah, but you know at the end of the I'm day, I'm glad you said that because yeah. this has been a that that's a thing investing. Yeah, because people what do you get think all about this cryptocurrency stuff? I don't today. understand it. But look, do you think it's real? Yeah, I don't understand it. Look, <laughs> look, the only person out the Dallas era, out of Dallas rappers that ever invest in anything, and y'all people overlook him is Emmy. Really, he's the richest Dallas. He's the richest rapper outside of Post Malone, outside of. Erica, Erica Badu, Badu He the richest Dallas rapper That ever came through he, he, I, D.O.C He killing him But I don't understand you He killing you, D.O.C Ray. He killing D.O.C Yeah I know he is I don't understand you You said that You don't understand The, the NFTs or cryptos Or nothing like that But I see you as the person And I, you haven't started Investing that money yet But you're a person That loves to research figure it out And try to figure stuff out of How to Come multiply your money Come tell us How you can figure it how out How to do stuff I Why haven't you jumped on it yet? Try to figure it out. It's already too late in the game being jumped on it. Yeah, 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 and I ain't, I ain't that smart enough to do my research on it. I'm Be just, quiet. You smart. Don't do not do that. Nah, listen, I'm not. <laughs> you can tell, I, I understand the rap game because I have lived it. You know what I'm saying? I went from promotion, this and that, this and that. But the other stuff, it take me a little while. You got to take time and go research. Yeah, that's why I got to try to marry a woman. A woman that could be my other half to help me with stuff I don't need. I'm gonna do this half and, and get the money. Now you gotta do your part over here. That's what it's all about. How's that working? You money. got one in line? Man, I be trying. Man, they just it's sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I be trying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gotta go overseas for that. I, that's why I've been. You thinking. wanna hook him up in Jamaica, Jamaican style? Yeah. I I got you. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been thinking though, cause yeah, uh, yeah. I'm. Yeah, uh, we want him to come up next. Mm. Yeah. Right. I got a question before he comes up. Okay. Because I saw some out. I saw something funny on Instagram, and I wonder why you didn't post the whole video. Well, when you had to wax up your nose. Ah, uh, yesterday my nose mm-hmm. still sore. What? <laughs> what drove you to do that? And where's I, the rest of the video? Did you? It, they had to pull it out to get it no, out. No, no, he'll not. He pull it out. What took, you mean by pull it out? I took some scissors and cut that stick out. <laughs> And I picked every day wax out my nose, and she would help me pick out. She was out helping no. with my nose. You wasn't finna do it. I was finna tell her I was finna go to the hospital. <laughs> she wasn't finna pull my. Ooh, that stuff Why? hurt. I stayed in there two hours getting that stuff out of there. So See, I, you I, try I, to get I me be, to do yeah, that. I be watching them videos. Hell no. Them. <laughs> I, I had, she had to get some. Wax, she had to get some uh, oil. To kind of loosen the uh, wax but up. But what convinced you to even go do because it? Because I'm place. just laying her, and she said, "You gonna look at the first video on my store." She said. Ooh, you got hair sticking out your nose. I'm gonna give you a nose wax. And you said okay. I just sitting there, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I ain't about, I ain't so you never seen, you no. never seen the video. <laughs> but when she put it in, I was like, okay, we, we heard it's now. warm. Yeah, it's warm. Then she did that. I said, oh, oh yeah, that, that nose finna hurt, ain't it? <laughs> oh, that, that's the worst thing you could do. That's the worst pain. It's worse than a COVID test. <laughs> Man, I got one more thing. I gotta ask him too. Yeah. <laughs> That was funny. I gotta ask you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. I, no, I, I'm gonna ask you one thing before she get off of here about uh, shoot this, this. I was proud of this picture, man. This moment. 
Uh-oh. You know, I, that, that the Grammy thing, it was good for me, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I was like, dang, we made it. You know, again, Dallas is in the building. You know, you the only nigga there. Who else was there from Dallas? Mm-hmm. Just you? Yeah, and was, Gazi? Was first. <laughs> but I didn't get in through Gazi. Who you get in through? Um, a, a, a lady named Lavish. For real? From 300. I just was proud to see you up there, man. Cause I was like, man, my boy keeping it moving, man. Yeah, you, nah, that I, helped the city. I'm that going, helped. That's a good look. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through, uh, I'm going through uh, the uh, Billboard Award next week. Oh yeah, and the Billboard Award, the BT. I'm gonna hit up every every award. They was shaking my hand and taking pictures with me and stuff like that. You moving? Yeah, I'm trying to. I just want be on I'm trying to the. That was boring though. <laughs> That was boring. I had to walk, I had to walk around after I fell asleep, and then they don't, was boring. They don't let you serve. They don't serve no food at the at the at the. Uh, oh, you're supposed to Grammys. eat before you go. Yeah, so it's all cold food, no hot food. You get popcorn and pretzels. That's because where everyone we go. It's white. That's why yeah. Yeah. they don't eat no 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 warmed up food. And I can't Just be there. Eat and you can't take you can't take it in, you can't take it in the theater. You want to take you uh-huh. some rooted chicken yeah. in there though. So look, I was so yeah. I was so tired. So boom, when they close when they close the door. When they close the door, no, it's no, it's nobody else can walk through the door, right? No more walking. So I, I started playing uh, musical chairs. And I found myself so goddamn close to that goddamn stage because once they close <laughs> that door, nobody come. When and you sit down right there, yeah, nobody can come say that's my seat. Okay. Oh, okay. So I just sit there. So, so when they every time they do a commercial commercial break, you scoot up close. Scoot up. I get up close. <laughs> that's smart. I found myself right next to Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's networking hey, but right you there. Killed he, it though. He, he looked at me. He thought he thought talking about mo mo peace. I said, I said mo three. Yeah, he made me hug me. He uh, thought talking about mo three and all this That's other dope, stuff. You man. know what I'm saying? And uh, he didn't remember who I was. So I, I kicked with him for the last for like an hour. Did you get his number? Uh, I got him. Man, I got so many numbers. I, uh, it's all about he, connection and keeping that his, link. He gave me his people number. Uh, oh, okay. You were clean though, bro. You were clean. Man, I got you got to me at this bill. You were clean though. You had that suit, right? Oh, was it you better? Were ta- it was a tailor. Yeah, it's tailor. Yeah. I'm a grown man now, so them, I'm going to get suits. <laughs> How many suits you got in your closet? That's my, that's my second one. I got okay. my prom suit. I only got, I got about my prom three, suit for two. You like, still have your prom suit? Yeah, I, I was going. I was thinking about wearing that at first, but uh, look, the jacket go all the way down to your knees. Yeah, because that's what was the yeah, style. And that I, was the style. I, uh-huh. ca- I called Mister Hit that, and he said, "Nah, you gonna look like a goofy." So my barber said, "Took me to the." To the to the mile and got me right. Mm-hmm. You gonna move up where you gonna have your custom tailored. See, see, already doing mm-hmm. it. That that suit that's that'll custom. be tailored. Oh, that's yeah, dope. yeah. That, that suit look too good. I know when they tailor now. Yeah. I said, boy, mm-hmm. that, that thing cut to him. And the shoes they had no back on that. My slides on. You, you kicking it? Oh yeah, man. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a uh, next year. I'm be I'm gonna be prepared. Next year, I'm hoping I have all That's together. what I was gonna ask you. You gonna take some artists man, with you see, to give them the experience? That after they Grammys, I came back and got into my artists in Dallas. That's I what I was about just about that. to ask. I was just about to ask you I was like you, earlier you're talking about you be cutting off people you don't want to deal with a lot of um, artists and stuff but what happened to Seven tell us a deal about Seven oh you going I mean, in you going in yes yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, know yeah, I'm curious cool. uh, I mean I feel like I feel like he was a comfortable state in mind like I don't think he understood that you don't get this chance out of time so we can't do the same thing we did last year Last year was around Dallas, and you know, uh, promoting and kicking it. This next year, this year right here, we need to be around the world. And in right. in the, in the, the year after that, you need to be so on where you you signing artists. For sure, you know what I'm saying? For sure, no, I agree. You got to move, elevate. Yeah, you got to move. So the things I'm seeing right now, the things I'm seeing right now, I I want you to be able to. Understand that and, and move forward. Like, you know, that the Grammys were millionaires and billionaires, and they shaking my head talking about Mo Three. Man, Money Mo's just pulled up yeah. as usual. Yeah, so he always pull up. You know, this is your this is your guy. Uh, Money Moses oh, is here. Shit. So uh, no, but you say when and and the thing I looked at, I remember you saying, "Man, we gotta go south by Southwest." Right. And I don't know what their answer was to that, but I just seem I could feel a frustration that you feeling like. Like they didn't want to go, or it, it it seemed that way. I could be off pace though. Yeah, they uh, I mean, it just like they wasn't they were not interested. You know, at the end, they act like they wasn't into going. Like I think that they don't understand. You know, like you know, what I'm saying like they got, you got you know, what I'm saying sometimes you know people don't be understand. Sometimes I ain't understand. Like like my mom used to tell me go to college and go do this and go that, and I ain't understand it at the time. You know, I wanted to. Do what was comfortable for me. 
Go back home and throw a party. How how was Southwest? South by Southwest. I how was it? it? Like I ran it. I had me and Lizek had the, the number one uh spot that weekend. Wow. Yeah, we, I, I I ran South by Southwest. You know, Sixth Street, my street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sixth Street. Yeah, yeah, Sixth Street, my street from Texas Relays. You know what I'm saying? So uh yes, South by Southwest uh yeah, I ran. I ran side by side with uh, 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 we was all in the clubs, strip clubs. You know, we was all in every spot. How was the energy down there? This was the first one, right back opening Man, back yeah, up. Man, yeah, I loved it. Okay, y'all got to wait the next year. I mean, Zach got a, two or three more builders, and uh, and uh, I'm just giving artists a platform to uh, to you know promote themselves. You know what I'm saying? You got an advantage because you you you've been successful in the stuff that you've done. So with the artists that that are in your uh in your group uh, under under your tutelage in your management they they should be able to capitalize off of the fact of the stuff that you already done been no, through but they, i don't think they understand see they three understood you know three three understood w what type of power i had in austin mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because we've been down there three and miss it south by southwest okay or three or three understood when we go to this place and this place and this place you know what i'm saying that you just got to be around me to make money or if i'm around him to make money you know what i'm saying you, you, us around each other but all this around me i'm gonna talk somebody out some money somewhere you just got to be uh, understanding it see baby see understand that right now farther than anybody else that's been around me because he's willing to go around me and, and i seen him and, down and, there and, too and trust it yeah hell yeah yeah you down there acting bad i'm with the jail yeah i seen that yeah so you know what i'm saying so he i'm with the jail i perform i, I recorded him singing this and that then yeah he, then he got a he got a features then he out there doing videos with bugatti then he at this place and this place and this place this place and you know what i'm saying then you know what i'm saying so you know you work you gotta be around you just got you gotta be around but see sometimes when people get that that sometimes people get an advantage. Like, like right now Mo3 was an advantage to me. You know what I'm saying? Because he was a work uh, he was a workaholic. See, I never knew that when three was alive because, you know, I used to rap so at the end of the day, you know, I used to want to record and you ain't gotta tell me about buying no beats. I mean finding no beats and nothing like that. So three was an advantage for me. So I took that for granted. I wish you was here right now. I could hug him and say, "Bro, I appreciate you making my life more easier." Hey, you know what I'm saying? Do you think Seven uh, riding off uh, three legacy? That's I mean, uh, uh, to Seven, he felt like. Let me tell you this: as a rapper, cause Seven had a name before he came around us. Yeah, I know that. But not a rapper name. So you got sometimes you no, got a street name. I yeah, you got to divide the streets from the rap because you got a street name. Don't mean they go book you for rap. You understand what I'm saying? No, I got it. Or you go get a million views for rap, or you go sell a million copies for rap. You know what I'm saying? A street name, you know, you take a lot of street pictures when you're in the street. You might get free, free food here and free this and free that and free dogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But when you become a rapper, that's another. That's a different type of. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I be trying to like preach to them. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm doing. I'm not. I'm out grinding. You know, I grind for. If I feel like a rapper got my back 100%, yeah. and if I die right now, and they gonna appreciate everything I did for them, then they ain't gotta worry about waking up at night and work, or going to sleep at night, cause they gonna understand that once you wake up, if you go to sleep right now, and once by the time you wake up, you gonna know Rain would've been promoting. Hey, you know what I, I'm I saying? tell people you're a smart ass person. No, don't head. come here with that, bro. Don't come here with that. Because you seen the video. You seen the video. You seen the video. He said, Damn, you ain't uh, let him finish. Uh, it was, I, 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 I was going to ask you that, though. That's good bro. stuff right let there. Me, I'm yeah, man, he said you wasn't a genius. That was nah, good. I said that you was smart as hell. What you know, genius, though? Yeah, it was smart It was a big thing because that was, that was something when Sean Cotton came on here. It was like, it was, was that him or what was it? I think it was Sean Cotton. No, it was somebody. He said, Rain White Sean. ain't no damn genius. Mm -hmm. He got wow. upset about that on the show. I oh, said, yeah. man, I can't wait to get Rain over his argument. What was it with Zach? Why you saying no it genius? It might have been with Zach. No, I, I thought said it was. You smart as fuck, but you know genius, though. He, he didn't say you was smart that day. Yeah, that that wasn't, you didn't oh, say that that day. You said he ain't no genius. Let me tell you about Zach. You know, Zach was over there in Top Out Records. I'm going to be real with you. That Top Out was Pad Pint, Lil Runny. Uh, T. Wayne, JT, they was all a little group together. Zach was the weakest person at that group. And we needed a DJ because I was DJing our Mo3 sets on okay. the shows. Nobody used to, no, have you ever heard a DJ that was around us before Zach? They never went to the shows and DJ. Okay. Never. 
never like 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 so people ever heard that there's a DJ a cool mo three they never went to the show I had the DJ the sets and so I it got to a point where we needed a DJ and Zach was overlooked by the people that he grew up with and I brought him with us now Zach huge now. Yeah, black like youngster, uh, Junior Baby. Zach? I don't know. I think it was say cheese. I know say cheese. You got a little, little, little busy about him because I had said something about you about the uh, about the way that dang video looked when you was over there doing that say cheese uh, interview. That one with the green behind you. That whole look like a damn. It was too clear, nigga. At the barbershop? shot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was, that, that whole was right wasn't it? I like. Sean. I think that was the clearest one. He, he liked you too. He was. Sean, he was no, Sean won't post my artists. He wouldn't post them. Hell no! At first he been showing baby C love because he been he he respected he ain't like what, what people around here was doing to me. Mm, that's that, Sean I didn't even first get time that. promoting. I mean helping me with the artists was probably like last year, two years ago. I mean well, like two months ago. He just started back really showing you some love. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? Because he stopped he stopped posting Mo three because of me. Because you kept telling him to post. Wow, whacking his ass up and post this shit. Post that shit, nigga. You see that shit? Post it. At the time that the city didn't realize that was the best rapper that ever came through here. No, they didn't. And they dropping the ball again. On who? Dun Dun. You think I you tell me? That. No, how can you say that though? I knew he was gonna say something. <laughs> Ain't nobody else got no mother. Uh, ain't nobody. The else, new project. Ain't nobody else got no album. Hey, you ain't heard it. I can tell no, you. No, ain't no, heard no, it. no, it's not that. I'm just saying people don't hear him like that, so they figure how he's supposed to be. I'm telling them like right that. now. I'm following. I'm, you see that picture look like Martin we, Luther King. We understand. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> listen, listen, we understand that listen, though. Yeah, you, know, you don't understand that. You gotta follow the lead. Listen, that, that's just like saying me. I got a badass album, but ain't nobody hearing me. No, I'm telling y'all. That's cool. You can tell them I got a bad yeah, so, album. Yeah, so, 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 so they still ain't understand what's going on. Some like, legendary. listen, I understand you, so yeah, I know. Yeah, it's some legendary shit going on. It's some legendary shit going on. They should, the whole city right now should be behind Dundon. They should be behind Dundon. Straight why, up. Why are they not? Huh? Because they are stuck in their ways. Most DJs and most people in power, I made it cool to manage people. Everybody got an artist now. Okay, so why you don't, okay, so why don't you... You go outside of Dallas and get that recognition. No, that's that's cool, but you know I'm building. They gotta build a foundation. I'm starting all the way back over. Okay. They they gonna catch on three years ago. Hey, three they, years they from now. Played Dallas always in, in the strip club though. Yeah. They don't play them. They gonna catch on three years ago. Three years from now. And they, they, they they you just drop the ball again. Go listen to Dundon album. Do uh Mister hit that play him over there at V Live? No. Yeah, he and I. Mm. Why not? I don't Be- know. Because it's not it's not a it's not a trend right now to. Post Dallas, I mean to play Dallas rappers. Matter of fact, I can say no. Hit that, he, he, he played one, one. Uh, hit that be at, uh, yeah. Hit that be at what's it called? He be at uh, at the radio station. He played at the radio station. But breaking in the club now, yeah, no. Nah, he, he, he played one of uh, Yellow News uh, songs. Though. Yeah, I forgot which one it was, but that was hard though. Oh, Yellows? Yeah, he mm-hmm. played that one. You know, it's not cool to be representing Rainwater. Why? In Mo Three. But that's a lot. You got a question? Since you dropped his album on the 22nd of April, how is it done? 29th. 20, oh, so it, it, came it out, came out late. It came out six days ago. Because I know on your Instagram you yeah. posted that it was going to come out on the 22nd. I made everybody go pre-order. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so bad. And so on the 22nd, I wanted to get a whole bunch of notica- notifications saying where to have them so I could know how it was going to do. Yeah, so yeah, how is yeah. it doing? Nigga smart. Huh? Smart. How is it doing? Uh, it's out over 100,000. It's past 100,000 streams. It's uh. It's doing pretty good, but at the end of the day, it uh, it's not it's not my expectation because the whole Dallas need to understand that this is a whole nother sound, it's a whole nother wave. It just ain't this ain't nobody just coming out just sound like Mo Three. This is a whole nother wave. This is a powerful wave. This a this this is the young the young generation mixed with the old generation to make a new sound in Dallas. No, I get it. So you know, I worked me and him worked hard and argued and damn near fought. Uh, fault over this album Man we gotta make sure It's right So at the end of the day There's some legendary Shit going on And if they Dallas gonna let it Pass him up again You know what I'm saying I, I get it I get it um, I, I, Take money the, the biggest thing Going on in Dallas Right now They don't she, play On the radio She always She show love to you She got a lot of love For you Man I'm gonna tell y'all Bro I know why though Why Cause you're a hustler, bro. I first one, I first one to, to to find her on some rap shit in Dallas. Take one of sitting at my house with Mo Three, Lil Zach, Young Al from uh, Houston. So she got a lot of love for yeah, you. Yeah, she's be around us. She bro. know you. 
Don't yes, be she, sitting there one day. You're going to be waiting on me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you going to be sitting there? Yeah, you going to be waiting on me. Take money, just be around us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, they they're they not showing her love neither. She seems like she's making waves. No, she's making her own heard, waves. I ain't heard a song with them club, though. That, she are making her own waves. She doing her own shows. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She doing her own show. Yeah, so, it, man, I'm finna go get the House of Blues. That got me fucked up. I'm finna get it. I'm, as soon as I leave here, I'm finna call the House of Blues. Oh, man, I'm finna put Tay Money. I'm finna put Dun Dun in there. I'm finna put everybody that I'm cool in there. He off house arrest, you can get him in there? Uh, we finna, I'm finna try to work it out. Y'all just motivated me. Hey, make sure you put me in there, too. I got you. I'm, I'm I mean, you saying that shit. I'm finna diss you. I'm gonna name that bitch the new generation. Let me ask you, man. Uh, Maserati, yay. I seen him in his first video interview, and he said that he had planned to work with Mo Three when he came home. Yeah, and and I'm trying to understand that because when I before he left, it was a whole group thing. Of course, he was over there. You know, yeah. everybody. Why? How did how did he come up with that? Were you and him linked while he was locked up, or? Yeah, and I wasn't talking to him. Well, I, well I what made it, how would he think he would be able to do something with Mo3? He said Mo3 was a real nigga and, and shouted him out. Mo3 was the only person shouted him out while he was locked up. So nobody else did? Uh-uh. Really? Yeah, we had no, I like Maserati. I talked to him I talked to him down there three times a week, three days a week after week. Yeah, I like Maserati. I, it was a picture, about, when all of them was on the picture together uh, a long time ago. Ticket, yeah. What do uh, you think... With him being gone, or with him being here, what what would have changed, or how would it how would, how do you see that playing out if he'd have been around during all? Uh, this people time? wanted him to leave. He had too much money, in the midst of little boys. Okay, but I'm saying, do you think it would have played out differently, or he would have? Uh, been yeah, cause it, cause when he left, it was a race to be the boss of the city, the number one spot in the city. Everybody wanted the number one spot. And that's what they messed up at. Yeah, that's what they fucked up at. Because at the end of the day, everybody everybody wanted the number one spot in Dallas. But it got to be a point guard. It got to be a solid point. You know what I'm saying? Not no, not no, um, not no Schroeder. Not no, uh, 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 not no goddamn uh, Brunson. I like Brunson. But it got to be a solid point guard. And then and just run the plays and let everybody else follow the lead. And then that's how you win championships. How was the relationship with the Maz Rodier and Mo Three when all the, when it was all together? How was this this whole that, they explain cool. that diagram to me? That with, was cool. The Mo Three with the Trap Boy Freddy, the three, Yellow, I wish, all of them cats when they I was wish, rocking together. I wish Three was alive because Three was like I tell Three, he you know, he was more cooler with uh, Three was more cooler with both of them before Maz Rodier. Okay. And then at the, when he died, he the only person that publicly say that how Mo3 was go hard and Mo3 was a stand-up nigga. And I don't think 3 would have, 3 probably wouldn't even believe that right now. Really? Yeah, he wouldn't believe that that, that, that Maserati would keep it real. Because Maserati seemed to be, you know, he, he out now. Uh, he a grown man. He, he, he didn't grow up. Yeah, he a grown man. So, you know, at the end of the day, he, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I fuck what what what's the biggest change in his character since before he left to the the guy he is now? I know you say a grown man. I really didn't know him. You we, didn't know? Oh, you didn't know him like that. I, we just dapped him up, and, and went, I really didn't know him. My ride did me like a lot of people. He tell me like, oh, we won't be around that nigga. I look goddamn Jerry. Go, he go fuck our hoes. <laughs> 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 Rain hell, ain't he? But he yeah, true. Yeah, I'm coming here around that day. That nigga had Aston Martin and the, the, the <laughs> dumb ass shit, nigga. Nigga, he gonna fuck all our bitches. You can't be, I can't want to be around that nigga, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't know him. Wow, that's cool. crazy. Yeah, I'm cool with, I'm, yo, yo, I'm cool with, you know what I'm saying, different people. But we ain't know him like that. So, you know, when he went to jail, he started reaching out. He talked to him all the time. I tell him. You know what I'm saying? You know, Asian dog, you know, the first person signed them, Cuban dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't give him his props. You, I seen him with Dolph and all kind of stuff. He, he first person bring everybody here, bring first person bring Future. Spent down there 100 bands on Future and brought them down here. Yeah, Miles Ryder was doing it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So people don't give him his props. So, you know, our rappers right now, just know the rap game is not loyal. Uh, uh, the rap game is not loyal. You know, uh, uh, these niggas, you know, they'll leave you out of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lee, yeah. I hate to say it, Charleston White, he made it popular for everybody to get podcast interviews. 
made me get views. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he'd go, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, once you're gone or once you go away to the jail or die, you know, uh, the they next nigga try to take your spot. But they show you more love dead than alive. No, just the, t- the next part try to take your spot. But you never know a nigga till they get money. Yeah. That's your that's your cotton statement, right? Yeah. What? Well, that's true. You, you never, never know a nigga till he get know money. Till get money. Yeah, you ain't lying. No, <laughs> I just thought about that. You ain't mm-hmm. you ain't lying. That's what Sean Cotton said on here. A nigga, a nigga get fifty thousand dollars, he gonna lose his goddamn mind. What are you gonna do with Baby C, man? Oh, Baby C gonna be a star. How long you think it's gonna take? Shit, I could have got him a deal two weeks ago. <laughs> but why it wasn't a deal you wanted? No, nah, I'm doing for a make a deal. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't. I'm looking for a make a deal. Make a make a deal like a dumb deal. Like I'm looking really looking. Yeah, I'm looking for a make a deal. Let me ask you this: because Empire, that's some people that you really are locked in with. A lot of people give them a black eye a lot of times, saying that people that signed to their label pass away or there's always issues. Um, do you? Do you? You evidently goes against the grain because you you've been with them a long time. Yeah, like I said. Why do you think they got got that stigma? Uh, because they take chances on rappers. And they don't control their rappers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you go, you, we in partnership with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, another other labels is they own you. So when you sign this down the line, we want you to move out here to our studio and record just at our studio. That's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Empire, you know, we in partnership with you. We 50 50 with you in your company. Oh, no, I couldn't even sign no deal then. I gotta do what y'all gotta do. I ain't happy. Yeah, you will. No, I won't either. Bro. Man, the nigga. money, right, huh? <laughs> yeah, they ain't about to say that. No. Nah, I hear. You think that. They yeah. ain't about no money with me. You can't nah. tell me what to do. Nah, he, 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 he different. Nah, he, not, nah, but they not. He you, different. You, but they, 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 they not. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. See, see. See, it's like rappers, if they was around me right now, saying, you can't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. No, that's different. No, that's different. no, no. That's an opinion. no. You can't see and say that. If that I no. called you and said, nigga, you need to be at South by Southwest. That's cool. Okay, but then they call you and say, hey, I need you to come stay in Atlanta for two years. No. What's the difference? No. After them two years, you might no. be a star. You might have no. all these connects, no. all these connects. You might have songs with this person, got that, songs that with like this person. Just like you said, I can stay around you and go. No. You, you know, just said that. It's the <laughs> same thing. No, on no it ain't. It's the same thing as a small, a small. It's them controlling you, no, bro. No, I need you to go South by Southwest for a whole weekend. That's cool. Right. So you, so you go South by Southwest for a weekend, you only get 200 fans. You stay in Atlanta for, for two years, you got a million fans. Man, I'm going to get that regardless. He ain't going to make it. I ain't staying in Atlanta. He ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. Why I you don't think he's going to make I'm it? I'm not signing no, no deal like that, bro. Why? I'm not signing no deal. Man, it's a blessing signing. No, no it ain't, bro, because if you got all your paperwork to start right in the beginning, you ain't got to worry about the end. No, Man, your you first contract, this rappers. Uh-uh. Your first contract, you got to give up some ass. <laughs> no, see? Hey, what you wrong with? You do. No. You do. Oh, you, wrong, every bro. rapper gave up some ass to get in the game. Not no dissection. I know what you talking about. You saying yeah, they, 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 they deal yeah. was kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. The deal was wasn't right. Fuck. You got to give up something. The deal was right. To get your foot in the door. I gave up something. But you still came out. You came out like a shining star. And you got to get. Man, you you let me get. You let me get in the door. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna squeeze my whole body in there. You know what I'm saying? Nigga say, bro, bro, you got invited to the, you got, you got invited to the Grammys. Oh, damn, nigga, you, nigga, you up, you next, next thing you know, the motherfucker see me on the red carpet, walking, walking like I'm P Diddy. <laughs> I'm waving at niggas I don't even know. <laughs> Let me ask you this, man. I hear you talking. It's all the perception, though. Yeah, I'm shaking, nigga, I'm know. shaking niggas' hands. I work my way out of it. I'm sitting next to, I'm sitting next to Mike Tyson. My grandpa was happy. I gotta say this though, because uh, a lot of times I hear you say Tay Money, I hear you say Little Earl. And you talk about the Dallas scene, but you never mention Erica Banks. Why is that? Uh, I uh, I be forgetting about her. <laughs> Cause I I've been I've been why you don't never mention Man, Erica pe- Banks? Yeah, I'm, she don't show me no love. She don't show you no love, but why should she? She don't know you, do she? Yeah, I show you my text. Message. You? I show you my text message right now. I fucked up. You supposed to been getting. Her. Man, I had I, I could have got I lost Tay money quick. Boom. And then Erica right there. I text Erica back and said, I told man, it's this girl. It's this girl that was on Love and Hip Hop named Summer Bunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and Summer. Summer Bunny can sing. Okay, yeah. I didn't talk to her a few times. And I told Erica I would fuck with Summer Bunny. Uh, then her. 
Then I came back and tried to text her a month later, and she said, in her inbox, she said, nah, I go fuck with some of them. It sounded like her. Now, I texted her too, man. I talked, but I would try to get her to sign. I was just messing with her about she going to be great. I want the manager. I fucked up. So you had deals. You supposed to be. You, she but went, you she, probably, you was the same way as a, a half pint, though. You don't sign paperwork. A half pint lost to, to 1501 because he didn't do paperwork. So you would have lost anyway. So nah, it don't this, matter. This the mafia over here. Oh, it's here. different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he said uh, he was going to take paperwork with anybody. <laughs> Three nah. says the mafia, the black cuckoo clear, hell nah. <laughs> he's about to be through our lit. You ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. But she wouldn't want to leave. But 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 that was good for her. Her situation was good with fifteen oh one. But you know, at the end of the day, I, I mean, at the end of the day, her uh, her style of rap. At the end of the day, I never knew what I kind of wanted with a girl. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what I wanted for a girl. Now I know. Okay. Well, yeah, cause you got a, a girl now. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's her name again? Pink uh, Pressure. Pink Pressure. Yeah, I be too hard. I be too hard on her, man. And you know, sometimes. But is she gonna be able to to make this happen? Yeah, yeah. We, if we uh. We gotta come. We gotta come together, and uh, she gotta understand. She just like, yeah. Sometimes I see the younger rappers. I be too hard on them. But I know you but bro. Then, but when she got pregnant though, did that yeah. slow things down? Yeah, because I would never let nobody pregnant go to the club me or put them in harm's way. Cause anything can happen. Now you just lost two people. You know what I'm saying? I like, get baby it. Baby, what's cost? So you know, at the end of the day, I would never, never did that. You know what I'm saying? And right now. Like she be trying to, she want to move with me. This and she want to move around with me out of town. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Try to promote herself, but uh, you know it's all about timing. You know, when I met Mo Three, Mo Three told me he was behind Puka Lero. Okay. And Puka Lero was the hottest nigga in the streets at the time. Yep. And three, and three, and three waited his time. And Dun Dun, nobody know Dun Dun been around us for three years. You know what I'm saying? Dun Dun been around us for three years. Now it's his time. You sure it went longer than that? Uh, what's 2019, 18? Yeah, about three or four years. And and, and when Dun Dun was around us, Dun Dun around us, that guy told Baby, Baby, say, call me, say, Rain. That nigga, they're James. I said, I've been telling you about him for four years. Yeah, he's three, four years. Hard though, bro. And I so he said, hard. Oh, yeah. He said, You have? I said, Yeah, but it's his time. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about timing. When I met Pink last year, it wasn't her time. You know what I'm saying? I needed to get all the the female artists out the way. You know what I'm saying? And come with a whole nother sound. Man, give me that pain. I, mean, I need you to talk about that nigga that left you. That's crazy you said that. I need, I need you to talk about, the, I need to talk, to talk about when you got to wake up every day and feed that baby on your own. Or, or, or just, just give me some pain. Don't every, every girl ain't having a hot girl summer. Ain't nobody talking about pain no way. It's some cold summers going around for some of them girls. You know what, man? You 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 telling the truth, man. You sound like UGK, man. Like you, and you like, what are you talking about? There was a time when everybody was talking about the dope and how the dope was yeah. selling, but they weren't talking about going to jail and getting yeah. busted. And Pimp C, remember he yeah. spoke about that. Yeah. He, he came and he was like, cause I remember when I first listened to him. Now we now 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 they got me running from the feds. At any rate, oh no, it was good. Yeah, just make sure. But anyway, man, when you think about what you did, what you're doing. It's the same thing. You're saying, don't just talk about we having a good time or don't talk about, you know, talk about the pain. My biggest thing was three. When I first met three, stop talking about fucking guns. Kill okay. Him. He switched it up. It, but ass hit the hell. Ass the real. Mo three first album, the whole time he was talking about killing. It was the album full of killing. Shoot them, gang, guns. If you want to learn about guns, go listen to Mo three first album, Shot Us One. It was straight killing. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah, it was the whole thing. Yeah, when I first Mo three, the whole thing. I kept telling him. That's three. what made me like him so much. Yeah, three. You can't talk about that. That second album. Do you know what I had to do to keep my lights on? I'm gonna take him to church. He changed it up. You know what I'm saying? No love. He was still rapping fast, but he started he started making hits that people can grow with. Not just everybody ain't no killer. But everybody feel like they went through the struggle. Even the suburb niggas. I know, mm -hmm. I know a bunch of, I'm from the suburbs, right? I'm from the suburbs. Half the niggas that I grew up with could swear up and down we went through some hard shit. And we just put ourselves in hard shit. We had good mamas. We had, some people had brick houses. 
brick houses and, and a good opportunity in life, and then you look out the window, you see a slab to leave an oil stain, an oil stain in the middle of the driveway. Nigga, why you got a slab? Nigga, go get you a motherfucking Honda. But we want to ride slab, we want to look ghetto, we want to ride them big ass rims, we want to drop oil e e everywhere. So at the end of the day, and half the niggas from, from where I'm from, City Hill, they wanted to live from pain so bad that they moved Oak Cliff. Y'all just went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you graduated <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas graduated And moved up Cliff <laughs> You know what I'm saying And so When you talk about That pain shit Everybody swerving down Their own way They came from a Pain You know what I'm saying They, they went through uh, They went the through Shit in life You know what I'm saying Like straight up I didn't realize That time MO3 he really went through stuff. Yeah, and he told me one time, yeah, well, you know, Ryan, I had to sleep outside. I said, nigga, yeah, he sleep right by the apartment door, one nigga yeah. told me. I don't even know this yeah. nigga. He was like, that nigga, you sleep by my door. Yeah. I'm like, what? He used to sleep by outside. my door he at said, the apartment. He said, Ryan, he said, he said, I said, yeah, my mom kicked me out. We got to sleep outside, too. I, I said, shit, y'all yeah, slept in the car. He said, oh, no, nah, I ain't had no car. I said, you had no car. Nah, I slept outside. Outside, outside. You know what I'm saying? That nigga really went through. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? At 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 the end of the day, at the end of the day, I thought I was a blood when I met him. I'm from the suburb, thinking I'm a blood because I colors red. Every time you see, me, what's up, blood? What's up, blood? Time in my three. He said, "What type of blood is you?" I know what blood. Now nah, what type? Where, where you foul under? Man, I ain't no damn blood. I'm a blood. <laughs> <laughs> I school colors red. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? And so, and so, once you talk about that struggle, you can relate to a lot of people in the world. Because in everybody's own way, they went through the struggle. Wow, man. You, you, crazy. That, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? But I think, he, I think you song. figured it out. Like, yeah. like, you don't, and you heard it in that music, too. You heard it. Yeah. You heard it. And they... What did you say You didn't You like when he write You didn't like when he go in there You like when, when Yeah you like when you, you didn't like when he freestyle Nah Because when he went in the kitchen Before He would write that He would write that in his head When he went in the kitchen in, in, the, in the kitchen freestyle He wrote that in his head So He prepared when he went to the studio But now these young niggas They ain't not prepared They just punching in they with anything They just punching in you, Man come on Y'all this y'all last chick Why is you punching in Some shit be sounding okay to them Like you know, they stand okay, but now I know hits. So when three, sometimes three go in there and freestyle, I be like, man, I'm finna go. But then when I know he went to that kitchen and I wake up and he did in that kitchen, I'll be calling him next morning. Come on. You go record it. So we'll be, you, you know when to call him. We'll shoot, we'll shoot the video next day. Yeah. You, you knew how to work with him. Yeah, I knew how to work with him. But do you think it's fair, though? Because I don't know. Are you working with these other artists like you was doing him? Are you giving them the afforded opportunity? I'm pushing. Because you, 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 you went through depression, too. Not, you can't say that you didn't go through a depressive yeah, state. But, yeah. so, so there was some time where you did some things to where it probably didn't go right with them artists because they were going through stuff, too. Y'all yeah, took a big loss, yeah, man. Yeah, but just record. They going to get us out of depression. Music get me out of depression. Me working get, us, get me out of depression. Ain't no money get me out of no depression working. Let me let me give me some give me something to go down the street and let me hear your shit. And somebody call. That motivated me. Hell, you gonna see me nigga, that motivate me. You gonna see me in the mile passing out shit. Give me something to work with. Give me something to motivate me to that you do. Give me a phone call and say, man, your boy in the club over here getting this song play and FaceTime and let me see a damn nigga in the club without me there. Or your boy over here shooting the video, where you at, Ryan? Damn. On my way, come on my way. Fuck this shit. I'm on my way. Ain't finna miss out. You ain't finna outwork me. But when you, when I go in a club and everything they play outside, it's like more three promoting themselves more than these niggas. He beating them from the grave. Actually, he beating them from yeah, yeah, yeah passing. He yeah. still beating. So, so give me something to work with. I get it. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying? No, I got it. You, you, I, I don't have to be around for you to do any work. I can't speak on, let me tell you, I can't speak on Dundum because, you know, Dundum is on house arrest. You know what I'm saying? He's on house arrest. But at the end of the day, let me, let me, let me catch your live. When he get off? Because we don't know yet. But let me catch your live. Let me, let me, let me, nigga, nigga, you got, you got a chance to be great. Not just good, great. Let me switch gears. I seen Seven. And, and he was performing and didn't seem like it was getting a lot of engagement. They turned it back after on. after me. I was, now, what was what? They turned it back on. They turned it back well, on. That, that's that's back that, on. That, that, that was, that was, you wasn't with him then? That was last week. That just happened. At a house party. Mm -hmm. I seen it. I don't, now, even, I don't even remember. I just know I seen it. I would have stopped that, but sometimes people not understanding what, what I be doing. I would have stopped You that. wouldn't have let him go out like Man, that. Man, ain't no artists around me performing in no crowd that's less than 500 people. 
He did that on his own with his new manager. With, he ain't got. I don't know what he, what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? He but I, I just know it looked at. It, yeah. it looked at. It didn't look like n nothing that because he hadn't been out in a while. Last time I seen him before that, it was kind of I seen him with, with doing a video with a uh, uh, with a. Uh, I seen him doing a video with Money Man. That yeah. was the last time I really seen him, and I think you and him y'all had to be doing that together or yeah. something. But yeah. then after that, I ain't seen him. But then I see him. On you know, with the people t their backs turned to him. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out wh what's going on, really. Yeah, nah, man. Like, man, I be trying to preach for great, but see, man, like I wasn't nigga understood. I was told, I was told, I would cut the music my damn so Hell, nah. People perform like that. It's all about the image and the look. Mm -hmm. It's all it's about. It's all about the look. You think you, you and him, y'all straightening things out, or y'all ain't? Oh, uh, I just got worried today, but you know, at the end of the day, uh. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I mean, shit, we gotta sit down, you know, cause you know, <laughs> you know, it ain't it. It's all about loyalty and respect for me. Yeah, yeah. Now you, so, you, you know, paved the way. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's all about loyalty and respect. You know, uh, I was with the biggest gangster in the world, and he ain't never disrespect me. That's dope. He ain't never fixed his mouth to disrespect me because he appreciated me. You understand what I'm saying? When three was allowed, them people didn't have no deals. Yeah, but you can't just. No, nah, listen, they didn't have no deals when three was allowed. Hmm. Yeah, but you can't gauge it off that because of the fact of the stuff that y'all them, the struggle that y'all them been through. Nigga, the me, and that, me and them really do. Y'all know y'all can really talk about the stuff y'all just went through. Yes. About, about me, all the stuff that they went through and, losing more through. Me and that should be the song. Listen, exactly. me and them went through bigger struggles than me and Mo3. But why y'all not putting that on the song? I'm not a rapper. No, but you got them. Exactly. So work. Don't 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 have came that rainy days. That was me and him sitting in the studio out there rainy days was a powerful motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Life of a soul. Don't don't album is jamming. But you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I want to come through the door as a force. Boom. Ray Lewis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ravens Ravens defense. You know what I'm saying? I don't come with a force where it's a, it's it's. You know, we got a good cornerback over here, good linebacker over here, good safety over here. Go, you know what I'm saying? We come through that bitch in a, with a force, not one nigga leading. I mean, why one nigga? Okay, boom. But as a force, you know what I'm saying? If Dunn kick the door, then we gonna bomb rush that bitch. We didn't know no limit around this hoe. Well, hey, I got I, I got. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I heard you had went to a show. A solo show with Mo Three. And y'all had uh, paid DJ $25 to, uh, to play his song. And you said he had recorded uh, at a uh, sold out show. And after that, his uh, his uh, verses was $1,500 after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were paying, for, we were paying, and three was paying for a lot of shit. We will go half on a lot of shit. Bro, let me tell you like this. Mo3 budget for his his record label, right? His mm -hmm. record deal? Uh, Mo3 budget was 100000 right? So you know you pay for studio time, features for that. You pay for everything that you need with that, right? Uh, when we turned in the album, we still had a hundred thousand. Wow! I'm so, so that's why you had the billboards around everywhere. Yeah. Cause we never used the budget. Cause he seen the bigger picture. Rain, I want to be a star. I just don't want to be good. I want to be a star. I gotta ask you a question. This is gonna throw you off a little bit, probably, cause I'm thinking over here. Um, when they did the outside song, right? Mm -hmm. They did uh they did Blueface version, then they did Mo Three version. Um, Blueface supposed to be the bigger artist. Um, Mo Three uh, supposed to be uh, the uh, the artist that came. Man, uh, hold on, let me yeah. let me finish. Uh, the artist that came up, you know, pretty much more flourished more after uh, he had passed, but but. To some people, but who wins if you put a versus together between Blueface and Mo Three? Who wins that? And and and, and it could happen because UGK doing one and PMC not here no more. But I'm just that just made me think of that. Like who you think could win? And with their song selection, you know how they play the songs. Who do you think will win? Three. Why? How would he? How would he take out a Blueface? Blueface and had some big songs too. I mean, in Texas. Not in tech. It, it, oh, uh, this around, is, they they around, just gonna meet up. Yeah, around the world. They just gonna meet up. You gonna have to come on with it now, right? Where we stand today, how would he take out Blueface? Uh, outside, for sure. Everybody ain't your friend. Broken love, and um, 
around the world. He got a deep enough catalog. Is it 20 songs they do? Yeah, I know you would pick Mo3. Th- he a Mo3 fan. I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, Blueface got 20 songs. That the world you know. know. They, I think he got two. Yeah, you right. You right. Uh, yeah, that's why. Listen. So you, st- you, you sticking with the fact Mo3, Mo3 would yeah. take Blue, yeah, Blueface they go, out? Because they're going to sing every word. You know what I'm saying? Look, yeah, that's what I get. To listen, every, every word to the whole album. Yeah, you should, look, let me tell you this. That's why Whack 100 really try to bulldog us and take that song. Why is that? He Harry up and flew Bobby out there and shot the video. A week after three died. But he couldn't, he couldn't, it couldn't penetrate what had already happened though. No, no, no. Yes, it was. It wasn't finna be no more three versions around the world. Okay, they were trying to, they were trying to stop. They were trying to stop by Kyle Bobby. Damn, nigga, you go. If you just go use my partner, just say you gonna use my partner. Cause, cause at that time, my Mo three in the kitchen freestyle was going around the world. Yeah, and people was looking at that. Then, then I look up, him and Blueface was shooting a video, so they would try to run with that. Oh, Wax said it one time, Mo three. You know they cool, you know, but Blueface version better. It's bigger. Bobby yeah. said it. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I know Bobby said. Yeah, it. Bobby Kyrie said it. it. He was pushing for that. Look at his album. Mo three ain't on his album. Blueface is. <laughs> he was pushing for the blue face version because you know down south got tired of people saying that's Mo three song, that's Mo three song, that's Mo three song. So let, let, come on, let's push this blue face version. Still ain't called Mo three song. Ain't that the bitch called yet? Well, I never even heard it. Yeah, I heard it. I wouldn't I listen I to it. Listen I, but that outside but, with Mo three something. But do you know you around, get around? Do you know that, other but. cities around the world that was playing? They they weren't playing Mo three version on the, on the radio. So Wack was pushing it. Like Wack was pushing. The Mo three, I mean the uh, the blue face version. He was pushing it. So they come to the verses and they you play both songs. That 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 outside that Mo three guy gonna take it out every time. They go, the whole crowd gonna say, "God, give me a second chance." No, I don't love to do the devil day. My fact, around here in Dallas, you can click up. You can click up. All them rappers on the other side, right now. All five of them. You know what I'm saying? Go click up all five. Bobby including over there. And put Mo three by itself, with him gone. You know what I'm saying? So you get five niggas over here and Mo three. But I'm gonna represent Mo three, right? So every time Mo three song come out, I'm just do it like that to the crowd and let them sing. The crowd go sing Mo three verses every time, and they go kill them every single time. Right now, that so in the verses ain't nothing out. Period in Dallas that uh, can touch. It. I want all them click up. But any song come on with Mo three, everybody sing. Word for word, word for word, for word. Don't matter where you go. They don't, they don't sing them niggas song. Word for word. By, by three, four of them. By three, four songs out of five different niggas over there, they go. They'll sing word for word. But over here, they sing outlets. Why? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mob with it. That yeah, that nigga jammed so hard. He had all three of them on the stage, and they were performing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they perform his part. I mean, nigga, I was talking to me. Man, I nah, cut that shit out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, DJ. Hold on. I, 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 he should have went acapella. Nah, the crowd want to hear that voice. Damn, man, that's powerful. That's man, the, I listened to that mob with it one day. I was like, this nigga here. We wow. shot that. We shot that video down the street. Nigga, y'all killed that at, at, at that cleaners. Did you hear what I just said? Boy, that hoe went so hard. I was listening to it. We was in Houston. I was gonna ask you about that too. We was in Houston, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Houston. Play Houston music on the radio continuously all day. They do. And Dallas play other people. All day. Rogers. Uh, Did you hear what I just said? I know. I know. I showed my wife. I was like, they play, they play everything. You probably be like, what the fuck is that? They, I was like, dang, they, they jamming all, the, all this music. So let me ask you this, because I had asked uh, Lil Kiki, uh, and I asked ESG too. ESG said the reason that Houston went before Dallas and Keith, because they found they sound. He said, but Dallas... The different people he talking about the Quint Black days, the all the different rappers out the Luchi Pookie, all of them sounded different. Then like Houston, they all kind of sounded the same. It's kind of how he explained it to me. Is that what you think? Uh, you see what I'm saying? What makes what makes Houston develop so much faster and so much more than a than a Dallas when it come down to our foundation? Uh, uh, they got bosses in charge. Okay. If I get into it one thing, I can go. I can go with the other, another boss out there, and everything be good. We go squash that shit. We put that shit. We go, we go squash that shit right here in Dallas. The young, the rappers is the bosses. Ain't no more dope dealers than rappers. That makes I mean, a lot of sense. The, the the rappers are bigger than dope dealers. The rappers are bigger than dope dealers. 
Mm-hmm. I agree with that because the entrepreneurship took over. All the dope, all the dope dealers in, in Dallas want to be rappers or sell dogs. Or sell dogs. Me and Bobo was talking. I gotta ask you this question, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you this hey, question. You ever met a dope dealer, old nigga that want to be a rapper? That's what I'm gonna <laughs> ask you. Who, if if who do you think in your eyes? Don't put Mo three in this. Uh huh. Without Mo3, uh-huh. who should have been the biggest rapper to ever come out of Dallas? Young Black. Young Black. Boy, he had, yeah, he had Dallas a lot. What happened? Why didn't he become that? They dropped the ball. How did they drop the ball? Uh, it just the people. He just dropped the ball. <laughs> do you, do, uh, young Black, Young Black would be, and Young Black had five songs. And his attitude too, I can't lie, that motherfucker there was a cocky motherfucker. I, I booked the verse for him. I booked the verse for him uh with uh nigga, I book, I forgot the nigga name. Uh and uh young black told him uh hey hey bring the money, bring our twenties. <laughs> <laughs> told the nigga bring our twenties. Did he? Black was a cocky motherfucker back in the day. That's the thing, man. Yeah. You 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 like like cause people make these statements, you know. Uh, some people say that uh, uh, you know, my partner Bobo say Snake did a lot for the city when he was doing the music. This was a long time ago. The, when, the uh, engineer, yeah, yeah, for for the music said that uh, DOC and I got to get I quote the DOC came to him before he left to go to California. To I sign. can't tell you one DOC song. Formula, nigga, you young, you don't know formula. That's what I'm saying. Dallas don't get behind their rappers. They should, they should, they still should be playing it. They don't say they don't play it on the radio. That was a big. If song. you go to Houston, they go play. They playing Beyonce old stuff. They Beyonce, playing all the yeah, old, Kiki old stuff. The South old side. music. They playing. It. I can't tell you one one DLC song. But <laughs> why they don't play it though, Rain? I don't know. We need. That's why I'm trying to figure out. We need to go. Everybody need to collective understand. They should be playing DSR every now and then. They should be playing DSR. They should be playing Luchi them every now and then. They should be squeezing. They should squeeze all that shit in there. What people say they them niggas jamming. You know you're right. They don't. They don't do it because they don't, because they they nobody. You know, like this, all rappers and collective and all people that's in charge of care about themselves and their own artists. But sometimes people be thinking I be caring about what I got going on. But I try to speak for the whole Dallas because I need them to get back hot. Man, if I get Dallas back back, I'm gonna be booking niggas thirty, forty thousand dollars a show. I hadn't heard you say nothing about Big X the Plug either. I don't know much about them, but I don't like that drill music. That's what it is. I don't like it. There's too many people dying, too many people going to the feds. You you own this new kick, or, or I say new kick, you own this kick now about helping the people not to talk about drill music, talk about guns. I, I seen a gangster mama cry. And every time I see her, she'll drop a tear. That, that, ain't, nothing, that ain't nothing to hear. You hear, you hear a nigga mama scream? That ain't, man. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. Y'all niggas throwing y'all life away. I wish I can call three right now and say, hey, you know, you know, all that blood shit. Uh, none of the blood showed up to your funeral. Damn. Or none of them looked out for your kids. None of them looked out, asked your mama, you okay? Matter of fact, I ain't even see another blood again. So they turned their back completely. Fuck that shit, y'all. That being cool. Fuck that shit. Fuck that gang shit. Fuck that. Fuck that drill. Uh, 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 when you died, everybody wanted your spot, and they tried to get it and didn't work. Yeah, everybody wants your spot now, bro. They, they, everybody wants your spot. It ain't about you no more. It's about who, 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 who can get your spot in the city. It's a, it's a big loss. Mo three was a big loss to the city. Yeah, you could tell now. Yeah, it, it been almost what a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, so. it, it, it's hitting hard right now because people are saying that the city that that ain't no hits out. Mm. No, yeah, yeah, they were, they, they but they not understanding. Y'all just need to let me. Y'all need to let me run the shit. I'm Phil Jackson right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bust the door with Dun Dun, and then it gonna be reopened. It gonna be reopened. But y'all got nigga got to listen to what I'm saying. See, people be thinking I just be hating, uh, hating, and sometimes people like you just talking myself. I'm not talking myself, but you gotta understand that drill music don't make no money. You don't hear that shit on the radio. You don't see them niggas at the Grammy. You don't see them niggas at the BET War. You don't hear them. You don't see them niggas nowhere. But locally, drill shit do not make no money. Don't That's make. Crazy. I had this whole conversation last night, bro. Half them niggas don't they got don't. nowhere to stay. 
Them drill niggas don't have nowhere to stay. Damn. You don't see no nigga. You, you don't see, bro. I have them. Have them niggas that make drill music. You don't see. You don't see them in houses. They be in. A, they be in two bedroom apartments. Straight up. So fuck that drill music. Fuck that drill music, bro. That shit. That, I, I mean, no. Let me tell you like this. When I keep saying that, people be thinking because New York got drill music. I'm talking about down south. DFW drill music. Only thing that leading you to the feds or getting killed. Straight up. Straight up. It ain't cool. I mean. It ain't, bro, it ain't cool to be beefing. It ain't. Nigga, I got, nigga, it's straight up, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, it ain't. Nigga, I got to watch every car drive by my house. And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and oh, no, nah, fuck that drill music. Fuck it. Fuck that shit. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't speak about, sometimes people got to be they self. Man, I seen a nigga, I seen another nigga, I seen, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, and I ain't scared to say it. Uh, it's a rapper by the name of Jet Lee. You know, uh, the white boy. John son I told somebody the other day I said Bro if he just Switch up his style He will be on And they were like Well he'll be lying If he switch up his style He'll be a fake rapper But now But you don't have to talk about Killing and Shit He could just talk about his life Like Eminem did If Eminem came out Talking about some killing Nobody respected him that's so true. He talked about other shit because Jet Lee can rap. But what you talk about, the world ain't gonna wanna hear that. If he talk about his life, he lived he he lived more poor than a lot of these rappers out here growing up. He had a big struggle, like so all you gotta do is speak on it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, people are so going with the with the what's the with the what's going on right now is we gotta talk about guns and killing. That shit ain't getting you nowhere. Them niggas ain't booking no shows. When last time you see a, a drill rap book a show? No, you you got the key to the fact of who booking shows and how yeah. shows are booked. I don't know like you. I I respect you because I I had to figure that out learning about and then, then, what you do. Then somebody will come in to come in and say so and so booked. So I ain't talking about no local show. Yeah, I'm talking about the big boy shows. Two thousand, three thousand people. People saying word for word. A drill rapper people can't sing that shit word for word. The only person that's booking shows right now constantly. Is Tay money? That's it. Cause she have and little Earl, they having fun. I they, they drill rapper. They niggas can't go to no middle school, elementary schools, or high schools. That's the problem with Dallas right now. And no nigga can say shit about it because niggas don't want to burn their bridge with another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like straight up, niggas don't want to burn their bridge with another nigga, so they don't say, man, man, I'm just gonna let you. Yeah, that shit jam, man. That shit ain't going nowhere. Wow, I think you you they can't have a Kwanzaa fest no more. You have a whole bunch of little niggas running around with guns in their pocket. You different, man. You you always you you different because you you understand the blog world. You looking at all this stuff from from the leverage of what you gonna do to develop an artist and all kind of stuff. How how are the bloggers uh, this world that we live in now they seem to be more popular. They're online. They they can go on live to do whatever. And you, the artist made, should be doing that. I made it like that. I was broke last year, so I couldn't go outside. I couldn't fly nowhere. So I just went live and got on people's lives. From I house. seen you do that. I seen you do that. <laughs> yeah. But that helped a lot of the movement, man. This year, you see me flying everywhere every, every week. Yeah. Uh, last year, you see me going live and different shit. Yeah. That's how I promoted last year. But... <laughs> you gotta understand you you a business head in, in Dallas. Uh you made the gatekeeper list. Yeah. You always make the gatekeeper list. I move up every year. You do you like the gatekeeper list? Do you think it's relevant? Yeah, yeah. They better they people people them dumb motherfuckers dumb. They don't, they don't understand that. They say they don't like the a every, lot of people don't like their list. Man, they gotta look at their list. Let me go through that list right now and then we got <laughs> Okay, we're gonna shut it down. Look, to you. And I'm gonna tell you all this though. I'm gonna tell y'all this. Uh, my new way of thinking with rappers, I like rappers that got God gave them a second chance. Man. See, some rappers, even around right now, they're comfortable because they never had a second chance. That's why Three was so hungry because he got out the pen and got a second chance. He was facing 10 years. That's right. So I want rappers that got that, that God gave them a second chance, but under 23, you ain't even be no old head nigga around me. Look, let me show, let me show you this. Okay, let me show you this. All right. So Carl Crawford, yeah, 
Yo, hell yeah. yeah. Carl, <laughs> Carl, <laughs> Carl, Carl Crawford, bad motherfucker. He, uh, he, 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 Megan and Megan bashed him and he still came up. South Walker, yeah. South Walker, South Walker, yeah. South Walker, South Walker, yeah. yeah. Me, uh, radio. Radio Raheem. Radio got the hub. Yeah. And you need to get your music. You got, we got a badass studio over there. So yeah, he's a gatekeeper in here. Uh, Bay Bay, yeah. This smooth Vega, I don't know not too much about him. Freddie, yeah. Freddie, Freddie, them, Freddie help Hot Boy West. Yeah, sure did. You know what I'm saying? Freddie, I can't, I can't lie about that. Freddie, Freddie, damn near help Yellow. Yeah. Cause we, I didn't know where he came from. Uh, J Money, I don't know nothing about him. Bubble, DJ Bubble was around me growing up. Bubble used to DJ my college parties. Nobody knew that when I was 19, 18, 20, Bubble was the one DJing all my college party. So DJ Bubble had paint. He got his channel. You know what I'm saying? He was filming. She feel Charles and White. I believe Charles and White should be up there because at the end of the day, y'all don't understand the type of doors Charles and White don't open up for me. And just you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Shamar, 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 Shamar throwing big huge parties. So artists should be paying him to open up everywhere he go. Everywhere he go. Big homie in San Antonio that's my boy. In San Antonio, he run the San Antonio market. Uh, dark skin, yeah, dark skin. You get everybody on a uh, on a uh, world star. So it's some people that they they have forgot. They didn't they didn't put on there. You know what I'm saying? They didn't put. They make it next time. Uh, now they they, they 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 just don't know. DJ Mr. Rogers, okay, in Houston. Uh uh, uh D Will, the German manager. Um, uh uh DJ Hella Yellow in Houston, uh, in Austin. Um, so you know, it's a lot of people. If I forgot you, I don't mean no horn. Lil Zach, Lil Zach should be on there. I thought he was on there. He was on there. No, they took him out. They took him off. Yeah, he was on there at first. Yeah, he was, but it was, when the official list came out, they took him out. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I dang sure seen him on there because I was I, when I had him up here. I yeah, knew Junior Baby the DJ. Mention. Yeah, uh-huh. Junior Baby DJ, that was Mo Three First DJ. He uh he rolled with uh he little Migo uh. He's an amigo, uh, role manager, and he's a uh, what's called a uh, uh, backup DJ, money bag, yo. So you know everybody I ever brought around, you know they became stars in their own way. I gotta ask you this uh, mm-hmm. uh, about the white girl that went viral. This uh, she uh, singing uh, actually Drake's song and a couple of uh, Drake and somebody else's song. She went she done went crazy on the internet. What would you do with her? Would you be able to? Cause I need <laughs> I need a country white girl. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She went crazy. I need to go to the. I need to have an artist at the Grammys, boy. Y'all see me? Y'all see my boy? Y'all, if y'all see, me, if they call my artist name out at the Grammys, I'm gonna slide across that stage hitting that baby. Like Michael Jackson. Nah, I like that baby. Sound the new moon. Oh, oh, that that, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that one with it, yeah. Hey, my baby, I'm just gonna slide <laughs> through that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I need an artist to hit that Grammy, man. Like that's wonderful. She really went wonderful. crazy just in one day, dog. So yeah, I, I need mean, a Grammy. Where's she from? I don't even know. I just said, I, I got a Trill Talk, no Pill Talk sent song. that to huh? me. She was lip singing the song. She was lip singing, but she knew it. Oh, you talking about little baby? Yeah, little baby. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah, that was uh, nah, nah. She just think so. Any, any, you white girls out there, y'all trying to, y'all think y'all she done blew up? Yeah, y'all think they gonna blow up out there? No, that girl was dipping. She had swag. She was making, <laughs> she was making the justice. You know she had it going like yeah, she was really yeah, yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, nah, that girl had swag. Let me let me <laughs> ask you about this. Uh, Dave Chappelle last last night they whooped the nigga all up and he tried to run up on the stage oh, yeah, and uh, they whooped the nigga all the way in the back, broke his shoulder and broke his broke his shoulder ribs. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> Jamie Foxx was in it too, nigga. Terrell Texas, stand up. I'm scared of the industry. That shit just didn't happen out of nowhere. Oh, so you think they set it up? Oh, he had a gun and knife on him. Yeah. He tried to do what um, Will like Smith. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, you think he came in with that ill will? Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, a gun yeah. and knife on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want to be known. I mean, he, he known he, now. He was a rapper. He was a rapper. Yeah, but I, but it's hard. Like like it, man. I'm scared of the industry, yeah. Bro, they run up on stage. What do you think would happen if they run up on stage with you and Mo Three up there doing them songs like that? They ain't gonna make I it. I would have tackled them. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know when we when we went out of town, just three of us, me, Zach, and three. And so Zach could be DJ, and I stand next to three. And go look at any show in YouTube, you'll see me standing right there. And I don't know what I could do. I can't fight for shit. 
<laughs> but I, it, I would run up through them niggas. I would just dive, don't grin and tackle somebody. And tell somebody, them, you know, to do this, you know, do that shit. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is grab one and hold on to him. Yeah, you gotta hold on to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let him go. I wish I was in that car with three that time. They got to shoot, and I would have ran. I, I would have told, and I would have grabbed him, and, and I would have rammed that car. Bam! Yeah, that's right. They would have been talking about a wreck on 35. Damn, sure would. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what you, and and that's something I thought. And I, I, I'll talk Bro. about that a little bit before we get off. I, was I, I was really, that. when I when I seen it. I like to I like to die one time in a truck. Um, we had some wood on the truck. I used to haul wood, and my uncle grabbed me. He, if he see this, he's like, "Damn, this boy be thinking about stuff." And it, because he grabbed me, because he taught me something. I wasn't. I was young. I might have been about twelve. I might have been about ten or whatever. Nito, Nito was driving. It had a bunch of wood on it. Whole started falling off. The wood started falling. Me, my intention, I was gonna get out, try to get away from it. But he pulled my arm back in, yeah. and he said, stay in this truck. He said, man, don't you get it? He said, that would have killed you out there. But I, he showed me different things like that that really helped me to stay alive or helped me to understand life. I just thought about that when I seen Mo3, and I was like, dang, he should have stayed in that car. Man, I would have rammed a heel gun. You see what I'm saying? Because that car still could roll. It's a I, I'm so It's scared. a weapon. I'm scary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't scary. I know. Three got the car ready for war. I know that, but you know I'm just saying, saying yeah, if he was yeah, scary, yeah, 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 man, I was scared. I would, I would, I would have grabbed him and and put that bitch in, and put that bitch in extra drive and, and ram that bitch. That's it. That's I would have kept ramming the car. That's it. And then and, and I went around him on four wheels. Yeah, cause it'll drive on rim. Yeah, say, yeah. If he, if he wasn't scary, I mean, if he was scary, he could have got away. Cause all he had to do was jump over that meeting and go. Man, he had time to do that. Man, he didn't so want to. Yeah, he didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Just like at that club that night, mm -hmm. I seen too many guns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just got running. Which night? Hmm. Uh oh. Which night? Yeah, uh, the night. Oh, okay. I got you. The I night. Got you. I got you. It was a million dollar night. I got you. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? I just tripped off. Just, just stop brought about that. Man, let me tell you something. Every time you come through, this interview is gonna be epic. I already know it because of the stuff that you said. Yeah. I already know, man. You yeah. do a good job, bro. Uh, and 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 I don't think I get enough credit, but I know how to sit in this seat too. No, you do. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Every time you interview somebody else, you don't ask them real life questions. You come with it though. I don't have to ask you uh, questions. You know how to interview. No, but you don't give them questions. You should have told that boy. Listen, <laughs> your song would not be shit if it wasn't for three. <laughs> You can't tell people that, man. No, you got to tell them and see. They, you got somebody got to tell them the truth. And somebody need to humble up. He would sit there and say, "Yeah, you right, bro. Hey, I appreciate Mo three. Mo three made a way for me." Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So everybody interviewing him wrong is what you're saying. Everybody, that ain't because at the end of the day, bro, when three died, I could have said the same thing. Nigga, nigga, go ask, go ask niggas. I've been, I've been that nigga before I met him. I ain't been big before I man, met him. That's different for you. You y'all came up together a longer time. No. I'm gonna say that Nigga, Texas Relay all, all the boogie movement bo boogie move, The boogie movement Was bigger than this movement I know that So I, I could've that. sit there And when people sit there And say Mo3 made you I could've sit Bruh. there And say my name was bigger Big You right You right That's why I went On this interview today I wanted to really I gotta get this dude An award or something man Because most, most Let me tell you something bro The the way that you the 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 What I heard about you Like you just said You could've did that I never you, mentioned you, you, knew, you never mentioned mm, -mm. I had to ask you about it today, and I don't really be hearing a lot of people even talk to you about it. No, man, BET Awards, uh, 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 uh Spring uh, MTV Awards, Dallas was bigger then. Yep. Niggas over here playing, fighting for gangster spots, and niggas don't understand that them niggas from Dallas back in the day was bigger then. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have chains and shit because because they kept investing they self. I mean they, they didn't invest they self. The DJs, the movement, everything that was in place for them was bigger then. Yeah, no, so, you're right. So so nigga just told me last night, nigga you wouldn't be shit without Mo three. Nigga, don't you know I was bigger then? I didn't even know. Yeah. Hell yeah. But I learned the people brought it to me. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know either. They know, but they don't want to say it. You think they know? Man, everybody around here know what was up. I didn't know they, they, because uh, I didn't. Uh, I know, wasn't tapped in. You're right though, but you, you didn't know. But see, when I met Mo Three, they said, "Oh shit, here he go again." Man, he ain't gonna be shit. There ain't gonna be shit. Mo Three, Mo tell Mo Three, Mo Three, don't fuck around. Watch Mo Three, this and that, this and that. Then when he died, they're like, yeah, y'all did good. This and that, this and that. Y'all did good together. You know, they were praised when he died. Then he came back three months later and say, "Man, you know, you got lucky with Mo Three. What they gonna say when nothing done pop? Oh baby, see. No, I think mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna be honest. For me. Mm -hmm. I would rather see you kind of like 
we we had a podcast, but there are so many people you could help. You know too much not to. You could be spread out more thinner than what you what you are. Now I need my city first. I understand what you're saying, yeah. but the world you got to understand. There's a lot of talent out there. You when you look on the internet. That internet is for for just for across the state. Yeah, states. but what I'm what I'm gonna do when the Mavericks game come on? When I go to the Mavericks game, when I go to the Mavericks game, but you, the, they, the Maver- on, I got a question because sometimes to get your city, you gotta go out there and you see the jump on it afterwards because that's how reality is. A lot of times they not, jump on it afterwards, and it's sad to say. Not the business man. I'm just the telling city. you, the people. P. Diddy, P. Diddy got his city. Suge Knight sure had his did. city. They didn't have to go nowhere. So I'm letting y'all. Yeah, but there's some people that did, though. No, nah, no, nah, I'm saying, but, no, but some, when P. Diddy was college, they didn't have to go. He didn't have to go nowhere. His initial city was Dallas. So at the end of the day, this last string of artists, I got one more little 14 year old I'm help. His mama in prison. He run the streets. He run the streets right now. Uh, I ain't gonna say it. Ain't gonna say ain't got a, it's yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't got, I ain't got it locked yet. in. And so, and so his mama runs. I mean, so I'm, I'm gonna have one more, one more person, and then that's it. But I, I want to be able to, I want to be able to go to the marriage game here by four or five songs. Wow. Even, even when them niggas songs get played, I'm not mad about the situation. You know what I'm saying? But y'all better play some more three too. Yeah, you want the city yeah, to pop. Y'all want the city to pop because if the city pop, you know how much money we gonna make. You gonna bring money. Man, to the city. I'm gonna be booking shows for. Two, bro, and the shows is so ridiculous right now. Back in the day, you know, eighty thousand dollars for for uh, all them rappers in uh, in Hawaii. If that was this time and day, man, it would been a, a, I would have charged nigga two hundred thousand. Yeah, but you can do that in every city though. You what? know the formula. You can go to other cities and do that same. No, nah, but I need this generation. But you already got Baby C up in North Carolina. And I know you done been up do, there doing do, videos do, and everything. Do else. You know, do you know why I got them? Got him. What? He was tapped into Dallas. They whole city Dallas down. They whole state Dallas down. That and and that's why you tap D. Man, they man, they whole state down. I be I be out in North Carolina taking pictures. I why I tell the niggas around me, nigga, you just gotta follow me. Nigga, 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 any rapper I'm put like this, any rapper around here, y'all don't have to come in my inbox. If y'all see me post where I'm gonna be at, catch a flight. You rock with them. I, just catch a flight and come on. I'm there. We outside. Oh, and and half the time flying by myself because they took my best friend. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So so at the end of the day, so even the rappers around me, even even the rappers around me, y'all asking by seven, just go. I'm I'm, I'm sometimes I be so I, I be so angry at y'all. Y'all ain't understanding what's going on. They got yeah. I put the you good foot forward. So any rapper that's around me, in in, in rapper, y'all see me fly to town, just go. Them people, bro, them people, bro, North Carolina, North Carolina, I never knew I was on Kyle 3 right now, bro. North Carolina, like, they show us so much love. They cook for me. They, they damn, them people praying for me. I walk through the mile. They taking pictures. They pulling out their phones, record me. Nigga, they asking about Bugatti, uh, uh, Bugatti, uh, all kind of shit. Lil Tuzi, they asking about all kind of rappers. They tuned in. Yeah, but you putting that work in, too, now. You 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 everywhere still. Yeah, yeah. You understand. didn't turn down. You turned all. But the way see, up. they know about the, even the people, the little people that mm-hmm. that don't even get that much love out here. Mm-hmm. So the people that's underestimated out here, they already know about. They showing them love. Yeah. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they showing them love. At the end of the day, you come back to Dallas, niggas that more rappers at the dog shows than South by Southwest. <laughs> you wow. ain't lying. Bro. <laughs> ain't lying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not lying. They asking, bro. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm telling you, bro. They asking about all kind of rappers, and, and I'm like, damn, how y'all know them? How y'all know them? How y'all know them? And I heard they up pretty complaining, talking about fuck the bloggers. We don't need the bloggers, and we don't need this, and we don't need that. And I so I took a rapper from North Carolina, and you and and used Dallas formula. Now he's streaming a hundred thousand a week on one one song. Yeah, that's I did you wrong with no money. All I do is take him with me and say, sing this song. I ain't put no money behind them. I got the money. I ain't even gonna spoil them. You want them to see the struggle? Yeah, I want to see. I want them come up. I want them come up. We'll come up. To, we'll come up. I want to come up. Take the step. I like take him. I like. I like. If he like, if I gave him a hundred thousand dollars right now, I don't think he'll be as hungry. That's real. He might get a grill in his mouth. Don't even sing the same. <laughs> or talk the same. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Though. But right now, when he's all talking about that church with no grill in his mouth, they believe him. They can, they can, they can touch his, they can, they can, they can feel the humbleness and the spirit of him. Yeah. He if he came back to all them watches and shit like that, niggas like, you talking about that church? Oh, yeah, you okay. You, you say, say, he's like a same nigga. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody come say they, they went to church after they got a little jury. But say it when you humble, when you broke. 
Yeah, he went. He he talked about his mom having cancer. Yeah, everything. So cancer. so so at the end of the day, I went I went out there to the park. So at the end of the day, it's like it's like I'm gonna take a rapper from another market and use Dallas market and use Dallas tools that everybody else say fuck, and I'm gonna make him a star. Wow, I think that's dope, man. Man, we appreciate you for coming on the show. You one of the dope ones, man. We we definitely uh, we we. Damn, gonna... Bobby B, you just tagged me. Let's see right you now. Tag you. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of no, Boss Talk. Oh my God, what, another conversation. Wait a minute. What happened? He tagged you. He tagged me. He ain't tagged me in a long time. Hold on. What he tag you about? We might have a whole nother he conversation. Right oh Lord, what the hell, Bobby B, you tag you for? He said, "Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie." Spotify, and he he he, he sent me his album, his album number. It says seventy three million. Uh, uh, I'm here to say, Goofy, uh, take outside off. It's gonna be it, it's gonna be two million. I'm gone. <laughs> hey man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss's talk.